in the previous video I was talking about sine graph and I told you this is the graph of r is equal to sine of x or sine theta. Okay, now I told you uh, this is one period from 0 to 360. The sine graph repeats itself. If you draw the second cycle, it will the second cycle finish at 3, 720 degrees. So the basic sine graph of y is equal to sine theta has a period of 360 and has got an amplitude of 1. So the amplitude is the distance from the baseline to the maximum or the baseline to the minimum. Now I wanted to show you on the graphic calculator how to do this, but I didn't show you that. So you go to graph and then you type in sine x, okay? And then you should go for look at your setting. And this has got three settings. So graph has got graphic calculator has got three types of setting. One is called initial, which looks like this. That is minus six point three to six point three on the x-axis, minus 3.1 to 3.1 on the y-axis. This is called the trig settings. This is from minus 540 degrees to 540s. But I want from only 0 to, let me show you up to 720 degrees. Okay, and scale of 90. And that this is enough. Your y, you need only want to go up to 1. So that's fine. And then draw it. So this is what I'm talking about. This is one cycle. Okay, so this is one cycle. So this is 0, 90, 180, 270, 360. So this is repeated in one 360 degree a sign completes one cycle and this is the second cycle. So so if you want say you go to setting, so 360, uh, you can go 360 times 3 is 1080. So then you can see three cycles here. So this is one cycle, this is one cycle, this is the second cycle, and this is the third cycle. Okay, and this is your maximum, and this is your minimum. So let me show you in the scale from 0 to 360. We are interested only in one cycle. Okay, so let me go from, say, minus 2 to plus 2 scale of one so that you can see the maximum minimum clearly so this is your one and this is your two so can you see the maximum so you also check g sol and if you press maximum you can get maximum at 90 okay. at 90 degrees you get the maximum of one and the minimum if you press minimum at 270 you get the minimum okay so that's important so let us move on Okay, now I want you to show in this uh, video, I want to show you the transformations of sine graph. So if you know the sine graph, all other sine graph, whatever sine graphs you are supposed to draw or you have to solve, is the transformation of this. So let me take one transformation. Suppose now the question is, suppose y is equal to, say, 2 sine x. How would this graph look like? Now, by looking at this, this number is 2. Now, this number tells me the amplitude. So here, by just looking at this number, I can see that the amplitude of this graph is 2. Okay. 1, the coefficient of x is 1. Okay. So the period is given by this formula is 360 divided by the coefficient of x. This is a good formula to remember. To decide the period, we have to simply divide 360 or, I'm talking in, radi in degrees, or if you're talking in radians, it is 2 pi divided by the coefficient of x. Okay, 2 pi is radians, so you, you should be knowing that 360 degree is 2 pi radians. Okay or 180 degree, this is how I remember, 180 degree is pi radians, or rads. Okay, so if you remember this formula, these two numbers are very crucial. So we have decided, so the coefficient here is 1, so the period is 360. So let us draw the graph first. 
So that is 360 divided by 1, which is 360 degree. So this is how I draw the graph. I draw the first x-axis. This is your y-axis. This is your x-axis. Okay, then I'll draw the maximum and minimum. I know the amplitude is 1, so it will go 1 up and 1 down. Okay, this is not exactly to scale. So I can say this is 1, this is negative 1, and this is 0. This is my maximum. Sorry, I made a mistake here. This is maximum, this is minimum. Okay, what should be a maximum? The amplitude is 2 here. So it goes 2 up and 2 down. So this is 2 and this is negative 2. And sine always starts, so this is 0 degrees. Then you got 90, 180, 270, 360. Okay, so let me write the degrees. This is 360 degrees. This is 270. This is 180 and 90. So let me change color. So sine starts at 0, reaches the maximum at 90. Baseline, uh, I didn't write this. This is the baseline, very important. So reaches the baseline, reaches the minimum, and comes back. So it's basically what, what's the difference between this graph and the last graph? Nothing much, but only amplitude has changed from 1 to 2 here. Okay, my graph doesn't look that good, but that's fine. Okay, you know how it goes. Okay, so this graph is the graph of y is equal to sine, sorry, 2 sine x. This is y is equal to 2 sine x. Okay, now what happens if suppose you have got y is equal to, say, 10 sine x. Okay, will the graph be different? It will be the same, but the only difference is, of course, this is not drawn to scale. You can say this graph, if this is, say, 10 and this is minus 10, this graph is nothing but this graph. Okay, so I'll delete this now. So now, this graph, if this is 10, 10 and this is minus 10, this is the graph of y is equal to sine 10 sine x. Okay, now... What happens if, suppose, you have an equation like this, y is equal to, uh, say, sine sine 2x. Okay. So here, okay, let me change, put a number here. So 3 sine 2x here. So this number, so let me write the general formula. The general formula is y is equal to a sine bx bx plus c it can be plus or minus okay plus c uh, plus d all are plus so the numbers can be plus and minus okay so each number has a meaning so this number tells you the amplitude a stands for amplitude now from B, you can decide the period. B is not the period, but there's a formula for. So period is equal to uh, 360 or 2 pi divided by B. This is a very good formula. Okay, period. You can use get by using this formula. C tells you whether the graph goes to the right or left. I'll come to that later. That's a bit tricky. And this tells me whether the graph goes up or down. So I'll show you this notation. This is easy. So this is this makes that uh, sine graph go up or down, and this number takes the graph to the right or left. Okay. So I'll come to this. is a bit tricky. I'll do this last. So we have got a. So this number 3 corresponds to A, so I can say my amplitude is, amplitude is 3. 
this number corresponds or this number will tell me the period. You don't need to remember the formula. See, this 2 tells me that the sine graph uh, move, goes, uh, has got two cycles within 360. This 2 tells me that sine graph will move, will uh, repeat itself twice within 360 degrees. That's what the 2 tells me. And if you want to write the period, this is the formula, period. We are talking degrees, so that is 360 divided by this number, that is 2. That's 180. So does it make sense? In 180 degree, uh, this sine graph has a cycle of 180. So in 360 degree, it will go uh, repeat itself twice. Okay, so let me write that. So this means, this means that sine graph sine graph in this case repeats repeats itself twice okay and that's what the 2 tells me so if it repeats twice within 360 okay or within that's the important thing within 360 degree so if you want to draw the graph these are the two information and that's sufficient to draw the graph I'll draw the graph very quickly. So this is your, so this is your y-axis, this is your x-axis, this is your maximum, and this is your minimum. So let me label, uh, say this is my maximum, this is the baseline, this is the minimum. So this is zero. So your max amplitude is three, so you go three up and 3 down. So this is 0. So this is 90, 180. Uh, okay, so you got a period of 180. So this is how I'll do. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 180 degree. So half of 180 is 90. Half of 90 is 45. So this is a step. This is called a step of 45. So 45, 90, 135. We want to draw only one cycle. So the graph looks like this. It starts at zero. This is maximum. This is minimum. This is base, sorry, baseline minimum and back to baseline. So this is one full cycle. So let me use a black color. So this is, it goes like this. Maximum comes down. And so this is the graph of y is equal to 3 sine 2x. So let me show this on a calculator. So here, we'll type in 3 sine, better to write 2x in the bracket. Okay, now we need to change the scale. I'll go from 0 to, let me go from 0 to 360 uh, at a scale of 45. Okay, then you can see two cycles okay and uh, we need to change this y we want from say minus 4 to plus 4 scale of 1 so this is your this is one cycle within uh, of 180 and so within or in 360 degree you have got two cycles and that's what the number 2 tells me so this is the maximum and this is the minima and if you go from so you change the setting if you want to see only one cycle 0 to 180, uh, scale of 45. So that will clearly give you one cycle. Okay, hopefully this video has been helpful. See you in the next video.